Good morning, kids, and welcome back to Science in the Scriptures. Today, we're talking about dancing raisins. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. He looks like he might want to dance sometime soon. But first, an update on the bean sprouts. Hey, kids, here's our special bean report. You may remember last week we talked about bean sprouts. This was what we started with, a little tiny pinto bean, not very big at all. And after eight days growth, we saw pinto beans were about this long. They had green growth and they were looking pretty amazing. Well, I can tell you that after another week, I kind of forgot about them, but I left them in the bag with the wet paper towel. Look what we have now. This is two weeks. This to this in two weeks. It's got roots, it's got leaves, isn't that amazing? All right, now back to today's lesson. So first, just a little history for fun about these guys. They're called the California Raisins and they were originally created in 1986. SunMade, one of the biggest raisin companies, um, wanted to make a commercial. One of the writers came up with the idea for the new raisins saying that they tried everything but dancing and singing raisins. Um, so they were created, and to their surprise, the commercial became wildly popular, paving the way for several future commercials and other opportunities for singing, dancing, and recording for these guys. We'll talk about why they're dancing in a moment. For our experiment and lesson today, have you ever had a blah kind of day? A day when you're just not feeling it? Kind of like these raisins. They have that sinking feeling. I'm dropping these raisins into plain tap water. What if we added some bubbles? Hmm. Instead of tap water, I'll drop them into carbonated water. Carbonated water is what we find in most sodas or pop. It's what makes your drink fizzy or bubbly. Let's see what happens. Hmm. The raisins gather the carbon dioxide bubbles when they get to the bottom of the glass. The bubbles stick to them. Then they float up to the top because of the bubbles. The bubbles connected to the raisins make them lighter or less dense than the water, so they rise to the top. When they get to the top of the glass, the carbon dioxide bubbles escape. They pop, so to speak and the raisins fall back to the bottom of the glass to collect more bubbles. I'd like to talk today about how we can go from being down to feeling up again, just like these little raisins, and how we can help others too. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 11, therefore encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. One way we can feel better and we can build each other up is with encouraging words, smiles, hugs. The Bible also says, let each of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. That's in Romans 15 too. So we can build and raise each other up just as they build and raise us up. God didn't create us to be by ourselves. He created us to be in fellowship with other people that love him. More importantly, in Psalm 31, the Bible says, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. God is and should be our primary source of encouragement and hope. God has done an amazing thing for us through his son, Jesus Christ. In Romans 6, 5 and 6, the Bible says, if we have become one with Christ in his death, we will be one with him in being raised from the dead to new life. We know that our old life, our old sinful self, was nailed to the cross with Christ. And so the power of sin that held us was destroyed. Sin is no longer our boss. God did an amazing thing for us. Today's Palm Sunday, and we start our Holy Week, a week when we look at and we think about all that Christ has done for us through this last week, through the Last Supper, through his death on the cross. 
and through his resurrection on Easter Sunday when he defeated death and he lives and reigns forever and ever. We can accept that truth. We can accept him and we can be raised from the dead to new life as well. We can be raised from our old habits to new habits that please Christ and also will help to encourage others. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of Christ. God, I thank you for the sacrifice he made so that we can be with you forever. God, I thank you that you raise us up every day when we're with you, when we talk with you and read from your word. And God, I pray that you'd help us to lift others up and encourage them as you encourage us. In Jesus' name, amen. So just to recap today, let's give thanks to Christ for raising us up, for taking our sins on himself, and for destroying the power of sin in our lives. And of course, for giving us a reason to dance. Bye kids, have a great week.